motorsport auctions, the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts and associated equipment, visit their website for more details. Good morning everybody, welcome back to Bosel Race Roundup. This week we're at Zolder, our first visit here for Round 4 of the Z4 and MX5 Championship. Barry Bird sits in pole ahead of Brendan Sills and Phil Gregory. He's ahead of his teammate Simon Underhill in fourth. David Rowan sits fifth ahead of Van Delden and then Neil Bamba with Martin Gwenicke and Akhtar next. In the second of the Bowdoin Solutions cars it's Ian Thorne ahead of Ryan Walker. He's the only motorsport auction Z4 on the grid. Then it's Jonathan Beresford rounding up the field for them. To the MX-5s, it's Adam Thorne on pole yet again for Bowdoin Solutions. Just behind him, it's Alan McCain followed by Russell Barnes. Chris Puttrell and Acorn Printing have some work to do if they're going to catch Bowdoin Solutions in the team standings. Chris is ahead of Jan Malesova and Scott Malcolm. He's followed by Ricky Green and Martin Brandon. Francis Winnell at the back, followed by Marion Bradshaw, who didn't set a time this week. Our on-board lap this week is with Brendan Till, so let's jump on board his Z4 for our first visit around Zolder. Here we are then, we're about to start Brendan's fastest lap of the qualifying session. Just ahead is one of the Bentley boys, so Brendan will be trying to catch up and take a draft out of that. So into the first left-hander we go then. Brendan is playing catch-up because he did miss round two at Brands Hatch a couple of weeks ago, so he'll want to finish strong here to get back in contention for the overall driver's standings. As I said, this is our first visit to Zolder as we come through turn number three. So with uh, Zolder being quite a wide track, we shouldn't have too many issues with the Z4s and MX-5s getting in each other's way. So now we're going down one of the back straights towards the first of the chicanes, turn number five. As we head into round four then, Team Quartwork do sit fifth in the overall team standings. To the drivers, it's Darren Ford who sits in 10th overall. He's ahead of Brendan, who's in 16th. Jonathan Beresford sits in 22nd, ahead of Martin Brandon in 23rd. Coming up towards turn number seven now and through another chicane, this time it is a right left flick. So through here we go, you've got to keep this nice and tight on the way out because it does close up on you. So coming through into the next right hander, we're then going down another straight towards turn number eight. So it's a nice flowing track here at Zolder. The qualifying session, the top six were covered by just under a second, 0.978 between Barrier Bird and Van Delden sat in sixth. So here we are then through there and through another little flick up towards the final chicane the left right onto the main straight so Brendan is right on the back of the Z4 of Underhill so here we are then through the final two corners and the power down to get across the line so that's the qualifying session over then let's head to the race and see how everybody got underway Acorn Printing are the team wear supplier for Bosra and have even produced clothing items for President Quinton see the video description to learn more For the race start this week we're going on board with Neil Bamba, so as everyone gets underway, keep an eye on the Acorn Printing car making up position straight away and pulling across track. There's the number 71 car, Van Delden, so he's going to try and get right up in the action straight away. He's into the side of David Rowland as well though as we go through the first corner. Not a good start for David at all. Moving on board with Jonathan Beresford, a different point of view. See Ryan Walker on the left hand side there and both of the Bowden Solution cars just ahead. Jonathan can't find a way through first of all, so he bides his time, decides to go around the outside, but because of that contact between David Rowland, it had a knock-on effect. Jonathan Beresford off into the gravel. He rejoins right at the back of the field of the Z4s. We're now going to move back to the start of the race to see how the MX-5 class got underway. So that was Adam Thorne on pole ahead of Alan McCain and Russell Barnes. McCain racing for Bentley Boys racing his sandwich between the Bowdoin Solutions cars. They've had a fantastic start to the event. So the Z4s disappear into the distance and as you can see into the first corner it is still Adam Thorne from McCain. Russell Barnes has been squeezed down the order and it is Matt Talley up into third. You can see as we go around the next corner there is already a gap opening up between the front two and then the rest of the pack. Chris Buttrell trying to go around the outside of Talley here. It is a move that Chris will eventually pull off on this opening lap and as you can see the rest of the field coming through in the early stages of the race. Going on board now with Phil Gregory, this is still the opening lap, that is Van Delden right behind having to take a void in action, going too deep into the first chicane, Neil Bamba taking advantage of that and picking up a position as well. From one Z4 to another we are now going to Simon Underhill, this is Brendan Tills just ahead of him, this is the start of lap number two, so there's Barry Bird in first just ahead, Simon taking advantage and up the inside, but further on in the lap, Simon then was forced out through the chicane, allowing Brendan back up into second place. Great start to our first race here at Zolder. We're going to move on to Chris Buttrell now because he got himself up into third in the MX-5 class. This was lap number three and then Chris went wide and spun it off and into the wall. Chris then having to wait for other traffic to pass to rejoin the track. 
Matt Tawera at the start of lap three was the next one to go with a spin into the first left-hander. He managed to get the back end out but did successfully keep it out the wall and just had to wait for the traffic to pass for him to rejoin as well. Moving on to our driver of the year contenders, Van Delden and Neil Bamber. Now this is an interesting move from Van Delden, hot on the brakes. A bit too late though, and straight into the back of Neil, pushing him into the pit lane. Matt spinning the cat and then getting collected by one of the Bodin Solutions teams. Matt deciding that now was the perfect opportunity to draw in his rival in the pits. Jonathan Barrisford making his way through the traffic on the end of lap 5 into the last two corners, the left right flick. So coming through and onto the main straight, Jonathan gets the power down a little bit too early and puts the car into the wall. Jonathan missing the pit entrance, had to do a full lap before he could return for repairs. Jonathan also picked up penalties while he was in the pit lane and another one who did that was Ian Thorne. He spun on the final couple of corners trying to avoid his teammate in the MX-5 but rather than carry on with his lap he decided that now would be the perfect opportunity for him to pit as well. Ian picks up a penalty for an unsafe pit entrance but we're going to stay with him because it gets even worse so as he comes in into the pit and into the speed check area. There's another penalty picked up there, but things get even worse for him because as he comes into the actual pit lane, you see the barriers there just on the left, keep an eye on them because he then tags that and picks up repairs needed as he's trashed the front of his car as well. Bad start for Ian then, so let's move on. Some fantastic flat wing going on at the front in the Z4s. You see Barry Bird, Brendan Tills and Simon Underhill, contact between them there. It is Simon and Brendan who make the most of that as Barry needs repairs to his Z4. We did say at the start of the show that the tracker here at Zolder should be wide enough for the MX-5s and the Z4s to race, but it seemed every time that somebody wanted to pass it was through a chicane. You can see Gary Bradshaw and Simon Underhill there. Brendan Till's taking full advantages of that as we come to complete the lap, but things would not last. Staying with them into the start of the next lap then, you can see the MX-5s just ahead. One of those is Ricky Green. So through the first corner, Simon Underhill right on the back of Brendan Till's. Not anticipating them to break so early though, in, into the side of Brendan. The move from Simon puts Brendan off track and into the gravel. Ricky Green did try and hold it. We're going to move on board with him now and see it from a different point of view. So as you can see, they are closing in quite quickly. Brendan hard on the brake. Simon tries to move up the inside, straight into the side of them. Ricky does try and correct it, but he can't, and he is off in it into the wall. Another pair having a great scrap was Neil Bamber and Phil Gregory. Neil ploughing it into the chicane here. Phil Gregory staying to the left hand side of the track, both drivers being respectful as we go up the hill we're going to stay with them into the next chicane, you see an MX-5 just up ahead and Neil just on the right hand side, he's trying to defend the line into it, but as we hit traffic Neil is stuck, trying to get round through the left hander and into the next right, it is difficult to get the pass done, so both cars pass the MX-5 now then, a fantastic battle from these two this week. On board with Alan McCain, we're going to switch to now. He was chasing one of the tech speed racing MX-5s as one of the Z4s comes through. That's Barry Bird. He catches too much grass though and puts it off track and as he spins he collects McCain coming back onto the track. Unfortunate for Alan, another innocent victim in it all. And to the race win though, it was Simon Underhill this week yet again. A fantastic performance from him. The other things did go his way but nonetheless it doesn't take away from the victory. Another win for Bentley Boys Racing. So that is it for Zolder, let's go and check on the confirmed standings. Bowden Solutions produce the very best load cell mods and pedal adapters to use with Thrustmaster wheels. You can order yours now at bowdensolutions.com. The race results have been confirmed then, it was Simon Underhill who took the win ahead of Neil Bamber and Van Delden. It was a great week for Econ Printing with Glenicky in fourth as well. Actar finished fifth for Bowden Solutions ahead of David Rowland in the second MKB racing cars. He was followed by Phil Gregory for Bentley Boys Racing. Brendan Tills finished in eighth ahead of Ryan Walker. The fastest lap man Barry Bird finished in tenth. He had a couple of on-track incidents this week. Then it was the turn of the Thorns. Ian Thorne in the last of the Z4s and he was followed by Adam Thorne in the first of the MX5s. A great Great win for him this week. Scott Malcolm finished in second ahead of Alan McCain. Darren Ford finished fourth and fifteenth overall. He was ahead of Matt Talea who picked up the fastest lap in the MX5s. Jan Malazaville was next, followed by Brandon and Butterell, Francis Linnell and Russell Barnes. Then it was Ricky Green, Marion Bradshaw and last but not least Jonathan Beresford. To the overall standings, it is Adam Thorne who still leads from Simon Underhill. He leapfrogs Van Delden this week. Scott Malcolm stays in fourth. Neil Bamba moves up to fifth ahead of Russell Barnes. Actar is next, followed by Gawinick Eaton Ford. Alan McCain moves up three places to tenth ahead of Ricky Green who drops five. Matt Tillet is in twelfth on equal points with Ricky Green ahead of David Rowland in thirteenth. 
Phil Gregory's in 14th ahead of Ryan Walker and Jan Malesba. Brendan Till sits in 17th, he drops one point. Barry Bird's next up ahead of Chris Buttrell and Ian Thorne with Marion Bradshaw in 21st. Jonathan Beresford, a bad week for him in 22nd ahead of Mantin Brandon and Francis Winnell. Ian Robson's next followed by Ronnie Gibbons. In the team standings, it is Bowden Solutions who continue to dominate. They're ahead of MKB Racing and Acorn Printing in third. Bentley Boys Racing are 64 points behind the leader, ahead of Team Clockwork and Motorsport Auctions. Tech Speed Racing have some work to do. They're 141 points behind overall. Round 5 next week takes us to Donington Park. Don't forget to join us there for that. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you ever so much for watching as usual. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.